Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. This afternoon, we have some really good uplifting news for all Yoruba people, not only in Nigeria, but around the world. Uh, and the picture that you see there is our general, um, Chief Sunday Goho. Um, this is moments before the picture you see there, moments before when he came into Ugu State at the uh, request of Chief um, of um, um, Dapo Abiodun, the governor. Um, already he'd said that before anyway, but Dapo Abiodun said, okay, they want his, his, his help. And that for me again is an admission by Dapo Abiodun that he is not, is incapable of actually giving security to the people of Ugu State. And that is a fact. Now, here you see Chief Sunday Buhu walking in with his men and going there to flush out the Fulani headsmen in our Yoruba land. Um, that picture is priceless. That picture speaks volumes. This is how we should do the things we want to do. So, um, with that said, just take a moment to savour that picture. Take a moment to take that in. That is a man that can do. He is showing us leading the people, the Yoruba people, from the front. Um, we cannot say that about all our former leaders and, and the current leaders. We can't say that. This is a true Yoruba man from his heart all the way. And it is such a honor to know this guy. All of us, let's get behind him. Let's stand next to him. Now, I am going to play the video where he speaks for a few minutes. Let's watch. So, I'm going to stop there for a second. He was telling the people why he was there. His job, he said he came there to uh, the help, that the people wanted help to keep flush out the Fulanese. And he talked about the, the market there. And he said, and he said some prayers that the market, um, that it should, um, it should uh, you know, be in existence for long, um, for, for, for a long time. And that, you know, um, the Most High will bless the market. Um, and then he's proceeded to say that now they're now going to go into the forest to flush out the Fulanis. And we will know if the Fulanis own the land or we own the land because this is Yoruba land. Listen on. <laughs> I'm not 
There you have the report here. Um, he's a, a self explanation of what he was saying. Let's watch out. That is a great man right there. So, now I'm going to post it there. I don't think we need to play any more of that um, because the message is pretty clear. He's a man of the people. He speaks for the people. He's with the people. He is, most importantly, amongst the people. He is the voice of the people. Something that all our co politicians, all combined, and our kings, they cannot lay claim to. That title belongs to Chief Sunday Adeyemo Ibuho. It, it, it belongs to him. And I am, I wanted to just come on board and just say how proud I am as a Yoruba man to see him lead from the front. He's showing an example not to not only to the to the adults but to the youths. They will be the youths who were there today, seeing him, they will remember that day. And he will go into folklore, the man that stood up and rescued Yoruba land. This is a watershed moment. This is a moment, a watershed moment. Hear me. Recall this day, the 1st of February, 2021. It is a watershed moment. Let's listen on for a few more minutes and then I'll wrap up. A very good afternoon and welcome again. Uh, I'm going to leave that here. We will, that's the separate thing. We're going to stop that now. What we're trying to do at this point is just that image there. Let me show you the image. I want that to be in your mind. I'm going to leave it at that. That image. That's a can-do man. He's not a man of many words. He knows that the suffering for the people of Yoruba people has gone on long enough. He doesn't need to do this. He's financially secure, stable. He's got everything he needs. But he does not want to walk around in his own nation where, while his people are suffering. That is a sign of a true leader. We need to support him. So I am truly, 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 truly pleased and happy to to share this moment and I'm sure many of us will take this in. Um, this date, 1st of February, 2021. Let's all remember that day. The day 
we saw the man that came and woke up the entire Yoruba nation so that we can walk together with him and take back our land, take back our freedom. I think with that said at this point, I'm going to put a pause to everything here. Just take in that picture. I want you to have that in your mind. We can achieve this. Yoruba nation is ours once again. We are taking it away from the Fulanis who are killing us and raping our women. Enough of that injustice. We must all stand together with Chief Just uh, Chief, Chief Sunday Ibuho and his men and all the others from around the other states that are willing to step up to defend Yoruba land. That we must do. I urge everybody, whatever you can do, to donate to support this cause. Vehicles, um, get yourselves in vigilante groups. You know, organize yourselves because there are killings going on every day. They kill people like it's like they are killing people like it's like it's like it doesn't matter, you know. And, and we need to put a stop to it. Our farmers are afraid to go into their farms, and that is why Chief Nandebu, who is justified, to go into areas where there's pressing need and help them flush out the Fulani herdsmen. Send their cattle and themselves. Send them back to them to the north. They don't belong in Europe. Uh, listen, uh, I thank you very much. You have been watching this is an AY, a platform where we speak truth to power. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please do share this broadcast. Thank you. And goodbye. <laughs> Please donate to Yoruba Rescue Fund. It is time to build a great Yoruba nation.